The Bible says, Therefore thus saith the Lord concerning the king of Assyria, Ye shall not come into this city, nor shoot an arrow there, nor come before it with shields, nor cast a bank against it. This was God's message to King Hezekiah through the prophet Isaiah when the king of Assyria was threatening to destroy Judah, threatening to raise it and make them his tributaries and taunting the God of Israel not being able to deliver the children of Judah from his hand. Sennacherib threatened to be this mighty overtaker threatening the men on the wall and King Hezekiah pours out his complaint before the Lord and lets him know the threatenings and this is the comforting message he receives in return and the great deliverance we know that was followed when the angel of the Lord destroyed that 185,000 men in a single night. But it teaches us a great truth that no evil can come upon you that God does not allow to come upon you that the devil is not like a pack of fleas that, oh no, if you get too close, it might jump on you too. Know that if you're God's child and if you're God's people, then God is ordering your steps. And if difficulty, if evil comes across your pathway, it must be for a purpose, perhaps to chasten you, and correct you when you've gone astray, or perhaps to purify you and to get something out of you that a little pressure might bring. Amos chapter 3, verse 6 says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord hath not done it? Even the difficulties, even the things that scare us and intimidate us and frighten us. Even those are ordained by the loving hand of an almighty God. Now the blessing is that the devil may rage and kick and bark like a dog. But the truth is that dog is on a leash. The Lord hath made all things for himself, even the wicked, for the day of evil. And God can use evil and allow things that may not seem good into your life to cause you to draw nigh because he never wants to destroy you but to draw you to Jesus Christ. So take comfort, take hope, and keep coming to the one who always has your best interests at heart.